Given a remote sensing image, there's a lot of different types of interpretation tasks that can be done with it. Um, these are listed here. We can do a classification with the image where we're looking at what, is, what we find within a particular area. We could be looking at enumerating things, which basically means counting them, which is typically done um, with point features such as trees or, um, or cars or any other type of feature. We can measure features. We might be measuring a distance between two points. We might be using the shadows that are cast by a feature to measure the height of a feature. Or we could be measuring areas as well. Another thing we can do is we can just trace out areas. We can either trace, delineate a road with a line, or we might delineate a lake with, um, with completing an area, area or extent drawing around that lake. So let's just kind of go through these quickly. Classification, we often covered the entire area with this, and we would assign things to, in this case, one of four different classes. The boundaries would be shown by the lines here, and there would be some reason for those different classes to uh, stop and start at those individual lines. Um, typically, with remote sensing imagery, we do this in an automated fashion, where um, we start with a remote sensing image, and then we apply a classification algorithm to it in order to get a classified image. Enumeration um, has traditionally been done by hand. It might be seeing how many um, cars are in a shopping center parking lot to see how busy the place is near the holiday season, or it could be enumerating any other thing on the ground that we want to know about. Um, in more recent days, automated remote sensing classification, there's been um, a lot of object-based image analysis where we're actually trying to break out individual objects from a greater image, not trying to classify the image everywhere, but just trying to find out where those particular objects are. With measurement, this is something that in the GIS we can quickly do with, um, with imagery. We just, um, if we know there's a road running between those two points, we can, uh, we can just measure the distance along that road. This, of course, used to be done by hand, but now um, is typically done in an automated fashion. In addition to measuring distance or area on a map, we could also measure the height of different features, such as this tree here. If we can see the shadow that's being cast by the feature, and also if we know something about the sun's uh, elevation above the horizon at the time the re remote sensing image was taken. Um, so shadows can be an important indication of how tall things are, whether they're buildings or trees or any other thing that has a, um, a vertical component associated with it above the ground level. And lastly, we can just delineate areas. Sometimes this is done um, by hand. We can draw lines around an aerial photograph to delineate where the forested area is, or we can, um, or we can use object-based image analysis to just classify a particular feature, a particular aerial feature we want to find um, in a remote sensing image. So delineation can be done in either an automated or kind of a user interactive sort of way as is shown here.